the problem for most of us builders is that we procrastinate a lot we tend to leave our apps midway or we don't even get started with building them most of the times we don't even have the right skill set to build the app that we envision so that's the problem as well well the solution to this problem is obvious hackathons well what are hackathons so hackathons are events where a group of people collaborate together to build something awesome within a time limit usually 24 to 48 hours but it can also exceed that hackathons help us in that boost that we need to finish our applications to finish our project or even force us many times to learn the skill set required to build an application in a way building at a hackathon is very similar to building a startup because you collaborate with a bunch of people who are all solving a single problem and actually solving it by building a real product collaborating with like minded people and building something real is one of my favorite reasons to take part in a hackathon but there are actually a lot of other reasons to take part in a hackathon other than the thrill of collaborating with amazing people and building an awesome application within a time limit most hackathons also have a generous prize tier depending on the position that you land up and that can be a substantial amount of money the point is that hackathons actually force you to learn in whatever niche it is that you're building whether that be web3 ai or in general full stack development or whatever it is for example in my case i really wanted to learn about web3 development and solana solana development in general but i just couldn't get the time or the energy required to actually learn it so i was just reading through the solana docs one day and i saw that they are hosting a hackathon and i thought that this was the perfect opportunity for me to actually learn solana and that's what i did i participated in that hackathon i there was like 10 days remaining to the hackathon i learned i learned solana in 5 days and i built a solana application within 5 days it was a very basic application in which you can buy buy things using solana tokens but yeah at least i learned about solana and web3 in general and how solana accounts work contracts work a little bit about trust and overall it was a very enriching experience for me <laughs> and of course the favorite of all engineering graduates out there you get free refreshments and free food at most of the hackathons and they're usually hosted at very exclusive venues or very cool startup offices for example the last hackathon that i did for force united was hosted at at the office of bruno which is an open source project which aims to take on insomnia and postman it's basically a api client and yeah it's like it was really fun meeting the founder talking to him meeting the developers over there and generally interacting with them all right so so far we have established that hackathons are at this amazing place where you can go learn a lot collaborate with amazing people and in general have a lot of fun but the question is where can you find these hackathons and how can you actually use them to boost your learning and in general your quality as a developer or maybe even as a indie hacker there are a lot of websites we can find relevant hackathons related to whatever niche it is that you're pursuing one of the best websites in my opinion is devfolio which hosts a bunch of general hackathons and a lot of web3 related hackathons as well but the web3 ones are more aligned towards eth that is evm based hack uh, chains If you're interested in Solana based web3 hackathons then of course Solana has its own platform called Coliseum which hosts a lot of hackathons related to Solana so you can go and go ahead and participate in that or if you're interested in general hackathons such as full stack applications or stuff like that you can check out Twitter or Luma for such hackathons uh also google hosts a very interesting gemini hackathon which in which you have to use the gemini api to build something really useful so looking for hackathons is actually you have to keep your eye open and be very observant to what's happening around and just pick up on the hackathons that really interest you to treat all of these hackathons as great learning opportunities learning about problem solving and real app development real world app development second is about team building and collaborating with people Through this, you'll know what team synergy is. What kind of people do you actually work out with? What kind of people do you actually work very well with? And who knows, you actually might end up partnering up with them and building something really awesome. Essentially, make them your co-founders or get into a niche that you have always wanted to get into but then didn't know how to or didn't have the time to get into, like Web three or AI. 
There are very specific niche hackathons that happen in these sectors and they can just accelerate your pace of learning. Moreover, you'll also get a lot of feedback whenever you build these applications because they'll be viewed by a lot of people and you'll get real feedback from real users. What more can a developer ask for? Now, all of this should actually solve the problem of procrastinating for you and looking for the right problem to solve and upskilling yourself and provide you with an awesome path to collaborate with amazing people and solve a real problem. Keep building. Remember, you're a wild one. We only live once. We